Hey, what is up guys, I'm going to be doing a quick um, deck profile on um, Noble Knights for the October 1st band list or September the 30th, whichever one you want to call it, I prefer October the 1st because not, it's more easier to spit out, but um, uh, the deck hasn't changed besides getting the third rotor and um, nothing dramatically will actually change in it. Because um, nothing will change in it dramatically. Uh, yeah, everyone knows why I'm just going to try to play. Uh, Exciton. <laughs> For those of you who can't actually afford Exciton and um, 101 and Giant Hand because it costs too much, sorry, but this is a Dev Pro version and. Some of this I do not actually own, I do not own the full deck, but uh, this is all advertisement for me when the Noble Knight box set will be coming out in America in October, I believe, this month. No, uh, October or November 1 or 2, I cannot remember off the top of my head. But it's all advertisement for it, I am, it must be a very bad advertisement, so I can even get that one. Let's go into the deck profile. Uh, I'll run two of the vanillas just for the Gwen, uh, Lady of the Lake targets to make um, my ignoble Lancelot. Uh, then I run two Gwens, standard. Uh, some people run three, I prefer to run two. Uh, same with the two Dristans, those are just to pop the field. That is his main purpose, no other purpose, really. Uh, three Madrots and three Balls, the heart and soul of the deck. This is the play, basically, you drop, get balls, they both have an overlap on them, you summon Sacred King of Argus, and, that, and then your opponent cries from that. Then... Uh, one Gualdivar, uh, this one's just to get the Madrop back to hand in case your opponent solemned it first turn, but... That's mainly its own purpose. Um, two brothers, just to get the... Um, more draw power and put the monsters back. Two Gwens. You either will target her and two noble arms or three noble arms with balls to get to the grave. But she just equips from the grave your opponent half the time forgetting that she's in the grave and you just use her for noble arm fodder. The two Lady of the Lake, this is just to get quicker to my um, ignoble and that's really it with her. Uh, three reinforcements to the army because it will be coming to three. Uh, two upstart goblins just for raw power. Triple mystical space typhoon, backer hatred. Uh, two noble arm of destiny. One galatin. Two caliburn. Two excalibur. And one alpha. I cannot pronounce that. That's how I will pronounce it, but I can't pronounce it properly. Whatever you, it's properly pronounced, do not stab me for it. Um, then uh, three mirror force for back row hatred and two full house because losing your noble arms is not a really bad thing because all of them except for Caliburn can re-equip so you target two of your face of noble arms and you probably lose three back row. Or since fire fist is actually coming back and there is hats as well you can just pop their whole back row. I've even done this with harpies and they're going to pop them all their back row. Until I realised that I did pop a hysteric sign and was thinking, why did I do that? But that's it for the main deck. Um, then for the extra deck, one um, Lancelot, uh, just for Lady of the Lake players. Uh, one Volcasaurus, two Sacred King, one Kerrigan, just to uh, if they target this, I just change the target to or something else. Uh, one Consular Omega, one Blade Armor Ninja, one 101. Uh, two, uh, Ar uh, two Argus, uh, one Excalibur, one giant hand prize card, very hard to get a base of. Um, one Castiel, and one Exciton Knight, because this deck does not fear the popping because of Destiny. Uh, but I'd like to know your opinions on the deck that I have just done, so please put your comments below on what you think about it. So don't forget to like, comment, and as I said, subscribe, and this is Profit here signing out now with the greatest thing you will ever see in the world. Bye.